Hey, hello, howdy. I'm going to try to do a different beginning every day. Uh, Bible story, volume 7. Uh, about Jesus. I thought I'd read a little bit about Jesus every day. And a little bit about the Old Testament. When I was in college 30 years ago or so, I thought, well, what is this uh, Bible going on? I need to read it for myself. And 30 years later, and then I was a Christian. It's good to read through the Bible. And it's been 30 years or so. It's been wonderful. Um, so I recently have been putting Bible sketches together. My I've been drawing the last 15 years. And then during quarantine, 2020, I got... My family set me up on a YouTube channel and helped me to put my Bible sketches together. So I hope you get some and enjoy them. Uh, and then recently I found these books at uh, discarded at the church library. So I thought I'd read them, see how that goes. Stories of Jesus as a baby. Story of Jesus' boyhood. So I read my own. sketchbook Matthew's sketchbook and we just want to talk about I just want to talk about Jesus before the manger I heard there's a book called Jesus before the manger that's the Old Testament Genesis to the minor prophets 75% of the Bible is Old Testament and it all leads up to the New Testament one-fourth of the Bible is New Testament as Mary looked upon this lovely babe in her arms and pondered the far-reaching prophecy of Simeon, she was full of grateful joy and hope that there at last was Israel's deliverer. Um, we'll, we, we'll learn about Simeon. i got to look him up. <laughs> uh, this Bible storybook describes uh, the Old Testament Genesis 3.15, how it all points to Jesus and Adam and Eve. Um, I think God said, I will put enmity between thee and the woman and between thy seed and her seed. It shall bruise thy heel head and thou shalt bruise his heel. So this is from the beginning. Um, there will be enmity between you and the woman, between your seed and her seed shall bruise your head and you shall bruise his heel. So, but God is with Adam and Eve and gave them clothes to help them and walk, uh, continue to be with them and then gave a redeemer in Jesus years later. Uh, Deuteronomy 18.15 um, Where is that? But I guess about Moses, Numbers twenty four seventeen. People prayed for in the Old Testament. They prayed for a deliverer, a redeemer, God's promise. The Moses that Moses knew about the promise is certain. He said to the children of Israel, "The Lord thy God will raise up unto thee a prophet from the midst of thee, of thy brethren." Like unto me, unto you, him ye shall hearken. Um, so this is King James Version. Um, it's beautiful, but sometimes it's hard to understand. The Lord your God, so thy would be your. The Lord your God will raise up upon you a prophet from the midst of you, of your brethren, like unto me. Unto him you shall hearken. Uh, Balaam and Balak. There was a, there shall come a star over, uh, out of Jacob, and a scepter shall rise out of Israel. So this is all before Jesus, prophesying about Jesus coming. By this he meant that someone was coming who would be both, be both a light and a king, and people wondered the more when the promised Christ would come. The prophet is, Isaiah was definite, more definite. He wrote, behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son and shall call his name Emmanuel. So this is thousands, of, a couple thousand years before Jesus. Unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, 
and the government shall be upon his shoulder. So there's Jesus prophesied in Isaiah. Awesome. Um, who is this? Micah is a prophet. Um, t Daniel is Old Testament. And I guess Daniel had visions of Jesus and dreams. And, and the prof prophet Micah revealed the very same place where the child was to be born. From house home to home, and especially from mother to mother, the news spread like wildfire. wildfire. But thou, Bethlehem Ephrathah, thou, though thou be little among the thousands of Judah, yet out of thee shall be forth unto me that is to be ruler in Israel. All eyes turn to Bethlehem. Let's read that again. But you, Bethlehem Ephrathah, though thou you be little among the thousands of Judah, yet out of you shall be come forth unto me that is to be ruler in Israel. So all these prophets are beginning to predict and tell of Jesus coming. And Daniel, I don't understand it. Um, Daniel, I need to draw Daniel out. Uh, knew exactly, so what, week 7, week 62 weeks, 69 weeks, and then the Messiah will come. So that is Daniel. And I have not drawn Daniel. So all this leads to the angel Gabriel talking to Mary that she will uh, give birth to the Messiah. Gabriel made the astonishing announcement, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God, and behold, thou shalt bring forth a son, and his name shall be called Jesus. Amen. Have a good blessed day.